And good afternoon, good morning, and good evening to all of you around the world of roller derby. I am the Pharaoh Fer uh, fan, Chadless Crimson Out coming and being joined by my awesome partner. Cecil B. Pop Daddy, glad to join you. It's 1400 in Reykjavik, 1500 in Italy, 10 a.m. in New York, 3 a.m. tomorrow in New Zealand, and whatever time you're watching, it's a great time for roller derby. It always is. I'd like to thank you for joining us here on the Blood and Thunder track here in lovely Manchester, England, for the 2018 Roller Derby World Cup, where we're going to be having Italy taking on Iceland. Very important game for Italy as they are so close to being in that top 16 crimson this is an essential game for them against an iceland team struggling quite frankly but just so happy to be here you'll see a lot of great celebrations from them absolutely they put up a good fight and they'll always have a good time doing it as you mentioned it comes down to that point spread that italy needs to pull themselves up to the top rankings as we're winding down to the big tournament let's take a look at the teams first for team italy Number zero is Arancho. Number 12, Electric Lemon. Number 13, Anik Breaker. Number 17, Betty Burp. Number two is Nuts. Number 22, Linthor. Number 23, Quack. Number 25, Baby Razor. Number three, Nicosia. Number 30, Heidi Rollerblock. Number 31, La Smash. Number 412 is Phoenix. Number 671, D Ray Wolf. Number 69 is Lucy for 696, Mackie Maniac. Number eight is Alasa Raptor. Number eighty or number eight is Alasi Alasi Raptor. Thank you. Raptor. And <laughs> number eighty-eight is Crazy Eyes. And the coach is Goofy. That's really his name. It's Goofy. It's Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> and let me introduce you all to the awesome team of Iceland. Number zero, Crash Override. Number one, two, Lethal Leo. Number one, five, Ice Rocker. Number nineteen, Bring It On. Number 273, Lara Frost. Number 3, Alexia Dittrix. Number 32, Icicle. Number 36, Sunshiner. Number 383, Grim Creeper. Number 42, Sam Zational. Number 472, Rushkva. Number 59, Katma Nightmar. Number 67, Radish. So that was Team Italy performing the national anthem in sign language. What great spirit by Team Italy. And now we'll hear the anthem from Iceland.
right, that's Team Iceland and finishing that off, number six, seven, Radish, number seven, zero, zero, Mia Flawless, and number seven, five, Runaway. As we mentioned, a big game for Italy, currently ranked 19th in the rankings. The top 16 go on to play for the World Cup. And if Italy has a very strong game with high point differential, they have a great opportunity to make it into that top 16. Iceland, they know that this is their last game no matter what. And for Iceland, it's going to be a game of emotion. It's going to be a game of celebrating every little victory. And I think that's what's going to make this bout so fun to watch. It may not be the most competitive, but you know that every single moment is going to be cherished by both these teams. Absolutely. And when it comes to even Italy themselves, they have an amazing blocking game. And that's a, a kind of a weakness that Iceland was facing against uh, the Netherlands. But still, they're going to turn it on up and have a good time. So this is going to be a fun bout just to watch as a fan of roller derby. And we remind you, we're on the Blood and Thunder track. And the Jammers are lining up on the Cheese Ball start line. And Dare Wolf, did I pronounce that right? Dare Wolf. Dare Wolf against Ice Rocker of Iceland. And you see Wolf trying to make it around. Turn number two right now, turned a nice little counterclockwise around. Wolf take the first lead jam of the game. Wolf able to make her way through. Iceland with a full fall, four wall being anchored by Mia Flawless. Flawless takes a tumble in. The Wolf trying to get around Icicle and does for the first scoring of today's game. Yeah, Icicle did a fantastic job right now. Switzerland already have a one in the box already with one of their blockers. But Wolf gets her through the first pass and, oh, having to recycle back now. Ice Rocker still working the initial pass as the pack coming around turn number two and Wolf gets through with a full four points on the board on top of a full five already so that's 9-0 Italy. Roline is the tailored gear fit for your needs. Roline, the Italian skating experience since 1999. Be sure to check out Roline on Facebook and Instagram from the, the latest offers on Cruel Roline. All right, and now back on the line for the second jam. We got number 23, Quick Quad Quack. So we're going up against number 36, Sunshiner. Sunshiner, a longtime star from the Rat City Roller Derby, but the lead jammer belongs to Team Italy, and that's Quick Quad Quack. Quack, quack, quack. And she is actually a very fast uh, skater. She just uses her small frame to duck low under all the uh, all the blockers, bridges that they create. She also happens to be a big fan of Donald Duck, and that is why she has the name she does. <laughs> and she's quacking away with a flying V of five fingers in the air. That's five points. And Italy putting another one in the box. That's two penalties already under their belt. Beautiful through the inside, getting around number 67, Radish. Penalty called up against number eight. Oh, uh, it looks like we got a track cut. And a track cut called. Oh, yeah, yeah, on, on Sunshiner. And that's going to be power jam for Italy. It's kind of funny to see Sunshiner wearing black shorts. She's usually known for wearing bright neon orange shorts when she plays. She's trying to camouflage herself in with the flat track here <laughs> at, at Event City in Manchester. 40 seconds to go in jam number two as Team Italy up to a 24-0 lead on 15 points on this jam. Iceland right now in danger of putting more blockers in the box. They got two in, and we're going to pick up another five for Quack, bringing a 29-0. Great blocking going on the inside. Sunshiner trying to move her way around the blocking of Crazy Eyes. Finally, the pack gets out of whack, and Sunshiner is out of the pack for Iceland. And Quack's going to call that off. That's a slip and through, getting another four on the inside. Three, three, zero. A oh. reminder to check out the All About Roller Derby YouTube channel from S1 Helmets for original content from your favorite teams and skaters. Go to YouTube.com slash S1 Roller Derby. Yep, already got that. Actually, as a subscription on my YouTube account, needed that. 
And now coming up to line number three, Alexia Daytrix of Iceland. I believe she's gonna go up against number two, Nuts, and that is actually correct. Nuts juking and jiving back and forth. Trying to attempt to go through the center of the pack, but pushing it like Sisyphus up, up, up the hill, the boulder that is icing, and Nuts is able to get through. And as expected, you'll see a lot of lead jammers courtesy of Team Italy playing in their uh, second roller derby that I know of, having been in the Dallas roller derby, and a great call off there by Nuts. Take a look at the replay here as you see Nuts just trying to work around that spin so beautifully, allowing her to get her final points. Four on that jam, and Italy needs leads 37 0. All right, Dare Wolf. I'm trying to. Put, I'm terrible at my R's. That's the it, it, that's the American in me. Well, if you think of D'Lo Brown, it's D Ray Wolf. D Ray Wolf. Oh, oh that's even better. <laughs> okay. Yes, we just did a wrestling reference. <laughs> Uh, we are complete marks for both wrestling and roller derby. She's going up against Laura Frost Wolf right now, through the getting the lead jam. And number 17, that is Betty Burr pulling back, forcing a recycle of Laura Wolf, uh, Laura Frost. First four lead jams have gone to Team Italy. Thank you, G.I. Jones, for that wonderful bit of statistics. As G.I. Jones, our producer, here on the broadcast from beautiful Manchester, England. A little bit rainy today, but every day is a great day when you're watching roller derby. And they don't call it Rainy City for nothing. And thank you, Rainy City Roller Derby, for helping put this together, the third ever World's Cup. Roller Derby City is a skater-owned and operated merchant uniform company, UK-based, shipping worldwide. We supply uniforms and merch for teams, leagues, roller derby brands, and events, including all the merch for RDWC, as well as individual customized items such as scrimmage top, officials' gears, and referee shirts. Check them out. Roller Derby City. All right, now line up on the cheese ball start line for their second jam would be Quack and Ice Rocker. Oh, it looks like we have Oh, wow! Yes, lead jam to Iceland. Ice Rocker getting the first lead jam for Team Iceland, and you will see that every little bit as it's a power jam now for Team Iceland, every little bit that they do, they'll celebrate. Yeah, Quack going to the box for a track cut. Huge opportunity for Iceland to start putting some points on the board, being in control of this jam. After this jam, we'll give you a little perspective of how these teams have done in the tournament so far. So will Iceland break the ice and get points, and yes, they will in a big time way. Five in the sky, and a call off for Iceland. Beautiful, five points on the board, no more zeros, Cecil. It's a beautiful thing to see as we take a look Looking how Ice Rocker just made her way through using the power. Team Italy coming into today's game with a two and one record, having defeated Indigenous 91-67. Winning over Team IRN 114-30 and losing to Belgium 180, or excuse me, 280 to 111 will go through Iceland after this jam with Nuts and Sam Sational. I believe this is Sam Sational's first jam of the game. And with that, Nuts is out of the pack, already working the initial pass, coming around turn number four. The pack still crushing its way into turn number one. Oh, a beautiful twirl to the outside goes Nuts. A lot of action going on with the blockers back around turn one and two, but Nuts breaking through for another five in the sky as we have a cutting the track call against the Iceland jammer Sam Sational, so it'll be a power jam for Team Italy, and just like that, Nuts with another five. Nuts going, Nuts on the flat track. It's around Grim Creeper now setting up to deliver a nice huge hit followed up by Radish not able to put her out of bounds that's going to be a five in the sky bringing it 61 five 
54 minute, or 54 seconds to go in the jam here on the Blood and Thunder track. Nuts using the tippy toe toe stops to get around for another Grand Slam. And Italy dividing their pivot away from, now she actually rejoins the rest of her pack in Iceland. And that will be number 12, Lethal Leo. Lethal Leo doing some great blocking out there. Also out there, 67 Radish, and Grim Creeper was the one that was the anchor of the tripod, but just momentum going too much for the way of nuts. 25 points on this jam. Sam Station was able to break up between Iceland's pack, but they went completely around Iceland's pack and reformed to stop her. And with that, Nuts will pick up an additional point now, bringing it 72 5 only about 10 minutes into our bout. As you take a look at the final moments of this jam, the way Nuts just able to use those toe stops to get around, stay in, and get the points. And beautiful track awareness, make sure she stayed in bounds. You talk about Iceland being surrounded if you are driving from the uh, Keflavik to Reykjavik Airport. I actually came in through the Keflavik Airport on the way here to Manchester. The road on each side is covered by, or is barriered by lava tracks most of the way, which is pretty amazing. You don't want to go off the road there. Lava and ice. This is what <laughs> this is what Team Iceland trains in. They can take on anything. And with that D-Ray Wolf taking the lead jam. Sunshine is still stuck in the pack as they're coming around to the straightaway. And she finally breaks through, but it looks like we have a cut track on Sunshine oh. yet again. So that's going to be a second power jam in control of Wolf. Second time Sunshine has been called for a jammer penalty. As D-Ray Wolf seems to be having a lot of fun with the skating to the left, to the left, to the left. Everything she scores, she goes to the left. Now, open tripod approach immediately getting uh, broken up by Team Italy. And that's going to give Wolf the opportunity to slip through. And a track oh. cut out Wolf. We are going to have a do -si do in the, uh, jam uh, sorry, the penalty box. And there goes Sunshiner from Seattle's Rat City Roller Derby, which was actually my original league. So I'm more than happy to give them a shout out. Hello, everyone in the Emerald City. Sunshiner started with the Socket Wenches, one of their home teams. And again, she gets called for a track cut, this time on the inside. So that's three penalties on jams for Sunshiner. Now we got about 20 seconds left in this jam as we're gonna ride it out. Wolf taking her time, not exhausting herself in any way, no needing to stress. It's a natural two minute, and we have illegal procedure coming back into the track the wrong way. So. And so Sunshine are laughing just like how, how silly it's been. We already had four penalties of jammers. A dosy, and they're both in the box as the jam ends. <laughs> Illegal, Illegal procedure, procedure has been called against Sunshiner, <coughs> so that'll be her fourth foul. I believe it's because she might have stood up a little too early in the box. She no, left, she, she she left, left it. it. Yeah, she left oh. the penalty box. So that's five penalties on the jammers in one jam. Oh, wow. And, and now they're talking, realizing, you know, nobody's at the cheese ball start line, so let's just have a social, shall we? Hey, Ravel Sportswear. Or contact wear is the leading perf tech performance equipment for women in contact sports. The Rebellia, a bust and shoulders protection for women, was awarded at ISPO, the world's largest sports and innovation fair in the world. Start the revolution, the first brand for women in contact sports. Rebel contact wear, make an impact. R E V E L E, contactwear.com. And we also give a shout out to all our awesome volunteers on the track right now, making sure everything is tip top shaped. You'll see them in the bright yellow shirts. Always give them a shout out on social media for all their hard work for these four straight days of Derby here. You can reach out to them at hashtag RDWC2018. So Crimson, we start with a jammerless jam. That's back from old school Derby. As D. Ray Wolf gets on there, then Sunshiner comes back to the track, and D. Ray Wolf picks up lead jam almost immediately. Says so two jams with the same jammers in a row after we had five back to back penalties. 
Wolf diving through on the outside of turn three, finds an opening and gets through. Radish having to let her go so she does not get an out of play call. And looks like there's a, looks like there is a potential star pass coming up with a pivot for Team Iceland. Because remember, Sunshine has been out there a lot, a long time trying to get a little bit of strategy here as look at that wall of blue. Team Italy's Alassi Raptor holding up the pivot now jammer number 59. That's Katla Nightmar. Betty Burp going to the box with a forearm call. But yeah, it was like watching an old uh, medieval battle <laughs> on the field with everyone just crushed together. As the jam is called off, and we remind you that power dine plates and performance skate products, cutting edge design, cutting edge performance from Rydell Skates. As I always love to say, because Grease is one of my favorite movies, give them hell, Rydell. Props to Rydell. They have a sticker on one of my luggage suitcases, and that's how I got identified at the airport as Derby. <laughs> Well, great brand, and great to have them as a sponsor here on the Blood and Thunder track. Roller Derby World Cup 2018 from Event City. Crimson, Cecil with you. And right now, Quad taking lead jam for Italy. Rushkva with her first jam, having to recycle back now behind number 22, Linthor. And did you see the juke of the hips of Little Quack. D dare we say that Icicle was frozen on that move? I think we did just did. Oh, we did. Rushkova actually on the outside having to retie her skate that just came undone. And that's just costing more time as already she's being lapped a second time by Quack. It's not like uh, kids soccer where they will stop the play to let somebody tie their shoe. <laughs> it just reminds me of the old days of sitting by this, the soccer, or as they say over here, football fields. No, that, I would always have my shoes tied together. It was my mother that did that to me. <laughs> and now uh, Pope, another grand slam for Quack Brigadier, 118 to five. And now troubles for Team Iceland as two players in the sin bin leaving open track for the one, the only quack. And we have a cut track call, but that's going to go on actually number 22, Linthor of Italy. Ooh, look at that, got kept the one toe in, but still had to recycle back, went out of bounds, was quack. Great blocking by Mia Flawless. Icicle trying to stay in, but the pack was getting out of whack and the Iceland Jammer trying to get any way she can around that wall that is anchored by Phoenix and Betty Burp. What great blocking. Electric Lemon also out there. Give some love to the blockers because they're always working hard. Absolutely. Iceland, as you see, and actually in this replay here, watch the juking and staying on our toe, our toe stops. <laughs> Keep in bounds. Quack is quackers. It almost looked like Icicle was just jumping up there 35 point jam for a quick quad quack and we have a timeout call with team iceland well so, that'll let us tell you about sucker punch skate shop as europe's original derby owned and devoted skate shop sucker punch is dedicated to helping you with honest advice to find exactly what you need and more our technical know-how and expertise is unrivaled, as is our availability of your favorite gear and the fast shipping we offer throughout Europe. Visit us at SuckerPunchSkateShop.com. The officials having a little bit of confab while you take a look at Team Iceland's huddle. Hey, Mr. Earlier, just show how much fun that everyone's having here. Italy's Linthor and Alasaraptor were actually ballroom dancing on their skates. <laughs> Well, over here, if, if you're in the States, they call that Dancing with the Stars. Over here, it's Strictly Come Dancing with Len Goodman. All right. And we're going to get back to the action. And on the cheese ball star line is number two, Nuts for Italy, and number two, seven, three, Alara Frost of Iceland. And a great opportunity here for Iceland with two Italian skaters in the sin bin. 
And Frost having to go up against Crazy Eyes and bringing her back. Nicosia creating a recycling opportunity and still Italy shorthanded gets lead jammer with nuts. And Laura Frost actually breaks through the pack work in her initial pass as they're coming into turn number two. Cutting the track call. Oh. And it's a power jam opportunity for Team Iceland. Huge opportunity to add some more points. They're able to pick up initial five with their last power jam. But look at this amazing diamond that's just locked up right now. Now two of Iceland's own trying to break it up for her. Mara, oh, collides right into you in number 88, Crazy Eyes. And unfortunately, another blocker from Iceland on their way to the box. Look at the power of Crazy Eyes and the Italian Wall of Blue and Lara Frost. That's called endurance right there. As now both jammers back onto the track. Nuts trying to get around 12 lethal Leo and finally finds her way around the outside for four points. Team Iceland picking up the first five points of that jam, Crimson. Yeah, and another blocker that would be, I believe that's number 22, Luther going back to the box. But lapped completely around as Nuts for a full five. We're going to call on GI here to give us some point totals here for some of these Italian skaters. They are just, I know it sometimes looks like a little bit of a stroll in the park, but they are putting some excellent jams together. But that time, it's Team Iceland that has the advantage. Yep, 10-point jam for Lara Frost. Well done. Yes, you see, working on the inside, a huge collision. I believe that was right into crazy eyes. Uh, able to get back up on her skates and get the additional five points. So Quack is the leading scorer for Italy with 59 points. And we still have 11 minutes to go in the first period here at Roller Derby World Cup. We're still in phase two. It's day two of phase two, isn't it? It's felt like it's been a whole week here already, <laughs> but I'm not even exhausted either. There's so much great action. And uh, thank you once again to our producer, G.I. Jones, who has the most beautiful purple suit you can only imagine in your head. And let's, let's be honest, the nicest baby here too. Oh yeah, adorable. <laughs> All right, now uh, D-Ray Wolf with the lead jam against Ice Rocker. So I think Ice Rocker was able to get out as D-Ray Wolf will now call off the jam just as Ice approached the back of the pack. Yep, a neck with a high, a high block call going to go to the box. So this is gonna be a pack favor for Iceland coming up as two of Italy's own is in sitting in the box right now. Blood and Thunder is sponsoring the Blood and Thunder track. Their belief is life's better on roller skates. Visit them at bloodandthundermag.com for roller derby inspired apparel. All right, Quack is back on that cheese ball start line along with Alexia Daytrix. Oh, tried to find an open on the inside and fell into the infield. And Quack finds that opening after the pack was broken up. I believe Quack has gotten, has not gotten lead jam every single time. She actually lost the lead jam earlier, but her percentage is pretty high up there. And here is Lexia Dutrix. We get an opportunity to talk about her. A strange affection for, or fascination for flamingos does Lexia have. That information provided by Lexia herself. I can only imagine just uh, flamingos just randomly sitting in the middle of Iceland. She would love to go down to one of the tournaments in Florida, I bet. Announcer Al B. Dam would love to have her come down to Tampa and say, you want flamingos? We got flamingos. <laughs> we got flamingos for days. <laughs> right now we got about eight minutes, 52 seconds remaining with 150 to Italy, 15 for Team Iceland. Here, here again is nuts. Jamming for Team Italy going up against 42 Sam Sational. 
But look at the absolute lack of motion from Mackie Maniac. Also up there, number 12, Electric Lemon. And it wasn't until a penalty was called. And Iceland is, has your lead jammer with Sam Sational. But Sam is going to have to recycle to the back of the pack because recycling is good all around the world. And we're getting multiplayer block calls. And that is going to go on to Team Iceland as Nuts is now working the initial pass. Another multiplayer block is called. Electric Lemon with a nice hit to Sam Sational to knock her into the infield. And I actually heard four whistles, but that was from the other track, which sometimes happens here. Some officials have those Fox 40 whistles, which just absolutely pierce everything. And when you have four tracks of four great bouts going at the same time in one building, all you're doing is hearing the crowd roar throughout the entire building nonstop. So that always adds to the energy of every single bout. It's never a quiet game. Great blocking by Icicle trying to keep Nuts at bay, and Nuts will call the jam off. And we are winding down, so that's 11 seconds now, 160 to 15. Crimson, do you know that you can get a different shirt from a different roller derby league from around the world every month? Really? Just by joining the Roller Derby Shirt Club at rollerderbyshirtclub.com. G.I. Jones, simply fascinated. <laughs> the look of shock and awe and surprise in his face. <laughs> And now we got D. Ray Wolf going up against Lara Frost. D. Ray Wolf wasting no time getting through that pack. And the pack moving along a little bit quicker than usual now. Wrapping into the straightaway. And Lara Frost is going to break free. Frost, the captain of Team Iceland. And D. Ray Wolf keeping an eye, saying, uh, No soup for you. <laughs> no yeah. points will be scored for Iceland while Italy picks up four. Well, like, uh, as she comes in, look how quick she moves and just laps around the pack, actually moving nice and fast into turn number two. And already, Wolf was already coming around from turn number four. Incredible speed that's on Team Italy. When they need to move, they will move fast as possible. And the leading scorer at the cheese ball start line, Quick Quad Quack. Shortened her derby name to Quack because uh, it's a play on words of the Italian name, as we mentioned, of Donald Duck, and she's a Derby mom. Shout out to the Derby moms out there, cutting the track called against Ice Rocker, so it's a power jam for Team Italy. Ciao bella. Ciao bella. I'm butchering everyone's language, and I apologize to everyone in the roller derby world. <laughs> but I'm learning so much from all these different nations that are here joining us. And with that, Quack is gonna pick up a full five in the sky. And remember, you can always join the conversation using the hashtag RDWC2018. You can give us a shout out if you'd like, or if you uh, have any questions or comments, we'll try to take a look at the feed and be interactive with you from Roller Derby World Cup 2018. Ice Rocker back on the track. A little earlier, Quack just crashed and hard right into the entire blocking wall of Iceland and learned, I'm not going to be able to fight this. I'm just going to tiptoe around you. It's the only way I can get around the, the impressive wall that was formed. And, and go right ahead, sir. I was about to say, Iceland picking up two last-minute points there to have two points against 12, 176 to 17, about what we expected. I, Iceland uh, yesterday, even though they were ha playing, a, uh, they had a very tough game against them, they were a team that showed how fun Derby could be because they celebrated every small win. Anytime oh. they broke away from the pack, the crowd roared, the team jumped up and down. They enjoy roller derby for every small thing that gets, not just the points, it's the fun of it all. Yeah, D-Ray Wolf out as your lead jammer, and I can't agree with you more. Sometimes the blowouts are as much fun to watch as the competitive games simply for the reaction of the crowds and the skaters when the simplest little thing happens. Direction of gameplay called on. Betty Bursch is going to re report to the box. 
We had one of those games right here when USA Roller Derby was taking on Team Wales yesterday here on the Blood and Thunder track, and it was just so amazing to see when a Wales jammer, Jen Kill, with nine points on a jam against Team USA, and you can imagine she was the national hero of Wales. <laughs> And right now, Wolf was actually uh, meeting Ida Ida Ryskova as they skated along together. No, no real like contact. No trying to take each other out. It was just like, "Hi, I'm going to pass you right now." <laughs> just an amazing footwork of Wolf, just tippy toe and be able to stay in bounds. Beautiful stop on her toe stop. Pulled herself right back in. Are you okay there, Cecil? Yeah, I, I, I spilled some water and it went down by a power line, so we were joking that I'm trying to shock GI into, into being awake, but he's much awake, thank you. <laughs> Great, just electrocute GI Jones while you're at it. <laughs> Taking care of business, the Italian way is number 23, Quack. Whistle in the middle of the track. But getting through is Lexia to Trix for and, Iceland. And this is the second time in a row we've had our uh, jammers skating along each other. Only one point picked up by Team Italy. Here's an important message from the Girls on Track Foundation. Did you know that by age 14, girls are dropping out of sports at twice the rate of boys? We think roller derby can help change that stat. Learn more at girlsontrackfoundation.org. And one special thing I love about the Roller Derby World Cup is there's something a little different you notice with a lot of the jammers. It's not a traditional star you'll see all the time. As many of the teams, they have come in with different logos from lions to bats instead of the star, which makes it a little interesting, a little bit more fun. Italy has narrowed their jammer rotation to just two, D. Ray Wolf and Quack. They're two and, smallest jammers. Yeah, uh, and, yeah, and they have gotten all but two leads in this bout so far as Team Italy approaching, approaching? Approaching. Strategery, uh, approaching <laughs> the double century mark. <laughs> Using that great strategery. <laughs> that strategery. And we have a full house on the track. Kelly Box of a beautiful sting on her toe stops. Oh, but they are going to uh, call it a, yep, that is track cut. I guess she did slip a little bit out on the straightaway. So that's going to be a power jam for Sam Stational and Team Iceland. And if Italy decides they want to use their official review, the coach had a wonderful view of that. So we'll see if they might do that after this. Great blocking by Italy. That is just a beautiful three wall that is extending all the way across the track. Crazy Eyes is in there along with number 17, Betty Burp, doing a great job. Yeah, they're doing a great rotation, whereas one blocker was starting to separate. She'd return right behind the wall, and then the one in the back would come right to the front. Nice little rotation to keep the pain on Iceland. And give credit to Lucy Fur as well. You know, as I always say, it's great to give the, the blockers some love because the jammers score the points, but the blockers do the work. And we have a star pass up to Katla Nightmar. Now officially complete, she still needs to get around the pack. And so, trying to, she's trying to get actually helped out by number 75, Rune away. And we are going to halftime right now, Cecil, with a score of 2-0-6 to Team Italy, 17 to Team Iceland. And this is when we get G.I. Jones getting that calculator out, getting us all the statistics. We will have the statistics when we come back to the Blood and Thunder Track here at Roller Derby World Cup 2018. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Blood and Thunder Track, where we're featuring Team Italy versus Team Iceland here at the 2018 Roller Derby World Cup. I am the Pharaoh Fantabulous Crimson Alchemy, being joined by my partner, Cecil B. Puff Daddy, and our awesome producer, G.I. Jones. And we had such an awesome already first half score of course spread out uh, pretty wide but still a fun competitive game uh 206 on 17 as they would say over here in uh, the british isles let's take a look at some of these scoring leaders for team italy 75 points for d ray wolf 81 
courtesy of number 23, Quick Quad Quack. And 49 for number two, Nuts. Iceland has gotten on the board with 10 points by 273, Lara Frost. And seven by Ice Rocker. Italy has gotten all but two lead jams. Is taking a look at the penalty situation. Sunshiner for Iceland with four penalties. Three of those penalties coming on the same jam. Two cutting the tracks and an illegal procedure. The only one in penalty trouble for Italy is 671 D. Ray Wolf. Also had a couple cutting of the tracks. And uh, at one time there was this absolute beautiful... Uh, Almost dancing in the penalty box where we had a swap, another penalty, illegal procedure, jammerless jam, and everything else w that goes with it. I've never seen so many swap outs of the jammers in a single jam like that, but that's the cool thing about World Every World Cup. You get to see a lot of firsts here. And lining up for the first jam of our second half here, the cheese ball start line is number 23, quick. Quad Quack going up against Ice Rocker, number 15. And for the first time, oh my, forearm call against the Iceland Jammer, Ice Rocker, who is frozen into the sin bin. So now Quack gets her chance on the quads. And Quack trying to push her way through. A mixed pack of everybody. No set. Whoa, ooh, vicious, vicious hit. But Quack able to pop up really fast, fast, fast. And she's going to put the five on the board. I believe that was the Grim Creeper who provided the smack on Quack. The smack on Quack. I like that. <laughs> and now dodging and weaving in between. Finally, having to let go was bring, bring it on. And now Ice Rock released from the box and tries to plow through the straightaway into Italy's wall. A forearm call against. Yep, number 32, Icicle. One of the blockers, I actually thought it was against the jammer as the jammer was recycling at the same time. And I went, uh oh, what's going on there? Wonderful tripod there, anchored by number 22, Linthor. Linthor now breaking off the pack to try to help her jammer. Also in there, Electric Lemon doing their work against Ice Rocker. Uh, look at Quack, she's pacing herself, not trying to exhaust herself because we've had, as you mentioned earlier, well, there's a two jammer rotation between uh, Quack and Wolf. And it's been very effective as she gets knocked into the infield. Wonderful hit. She's going to call that one off as Ice Rocker is starting to catch up. And that's going to bring it to a 2 2 3 to 17. King Crazy, who is producing the, the in house call, mentioned to us that Germany is leading Belgium by quite a bit. And that can only help Italy because Italy currently ranked 19th, wanting to get into the top 16 as the quarterfinal participants will be announced later this afternoon. And the top 16 will go on to vie for the World Cup. And if you want to keep tabs on where the teams are ranked, you can go to rollerderbyworldcup.com forward slash live and click on schedules and then rankings. And it's Iceland getting lead jammer status. That is Lexia Day tricks. And she's coming around all right through the pack and slides through the inside. <laughs> and that's going to be five up. Iceland saying the crowd has popped loud right now. Both teams sending a blocker to the box. Lexia to tricks. Lexia to points. Wolf still working the initial pass. Lexia, beautiful hit to the outside by number eight, Elasa Raptor. She will call that off as Wolf tries to dive through and will still pick up an additional two more points. Team Iceland with, was that their biggest jam of the game so far? Second biggest jam of the game. Yeah, they, yeah they've had about a 10 point. Yeah. Our awesome producer, G.I. Jones, with the stats all over the place. This man is a machine. He's throwing pieces of paper at me. It's very, very dangerous. Power Dine plates and performance gate products from Cutting Edge Designs, Cutting Edge Performance from Rydell. And now joining the rotation is Baby Razor, number 25 for Italy, going up against Sam Sational, number 42. 
Sam Seashell recycling back now, and we have Lee Jim going to Baby Razor. Great work inside the pack there. A little trouble in the back straight as a couple of Iceland players go down, but not going down. Baby Razor just cutting her way through for five more points. Sam Seychell trying to find an opening on the inside, running to Maki Maniac. Maki Maniac doing a great job blocking. The pack getting a little bit out of whack. And I think people think that the jam is over, but I don't think, uh, yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, yeah, I, saw, I, saw, I saw some hands up in the air, some questions being asked. Chaya skates with custom onyx boots are available now. Create your perfect skates with our new colors, C-O-L-O-U-R-S, including teal. And the shiniest gold you've ever seen, it's time. Kaya skates. And out in the cheese ball start line, we have number 472, Rushkama, and number 23, Quack. Quack does a quick little dance around. I believe that was a number 36, Sunshiner. But I'll let her go. Already working the initial pass. The pack still hasn't even reached turn number one. Quack, oh, rode on a single skate on her toe stop. Stayed inbounds. And is going to pick up another five for Italy. Just smooth moves by Quack. A little bit of a hop, skip, and a jump, but landed on the inside of the track. So she will recycle back behind Sunshiner. And Quack pauses for a quick moment, just sizing up the pack in front of her. A nice tripod formation that ends up forcing her out of bounds. Electric Lemon along with Sunshiner. And a third player out there. I can't get the number, but Quack makes quick work there. And we're seeing a track call, but that is going on a blocker for Iceland. And high block calls, and that is going to go on a couple of <laughs> skaters for Italy. They're dropping like flies. So Crazy Eyes heading towards the penalty box, but wasn't quite sure, if, am I going to the bench or the penalty box? I guess, I'm, am I going to the penalty box? And we have a timeout on the floor. That gives us an opportunity to say double threat skates, expert advice from experienced staff. Head over to doublethreatskates.co.uk. Also, fifth blocker skates, skater owned and operated since 2011. Gallus. I have no idea what Gallus is, but it sounds very what? Gallus. Maybe if Bear was over here saying Gallus, it sounds much more. Can we, can we say Excelsior? Excelsior. One thing I actually love about not only our sponsors here at World Cup, but we have so many vendors. Good news is there's stuff I could actually buy instead of having to ship, for, ship it overseas. I know a lot of our great sponsors will do worldwide shipping. Mm -hmm. I'm here and I have the access to buy it all. Bad news is I'm flat broke now because <laughs> I, there's so much I need, especially all the teams are selling all their uh, their their uh, respective nations t-shirts. Oh, I it's need gorgeous. It to that. You didn't get your announcer paycheck? No, I did not get my... What announcer picture. <laughs> announcer picture. As you take a look at some of the fans Wait. here at the Blood and Thunder track, we saw some of the Iceland fans here earlier. As we take a look at some action from the previous, Dire Wolf going out and did she have a skate that went out? I think that's probably what they're talking about in the officials group a little bit, but this is an official timeout for an injury as number 72 for, or excuse me, number 472, 472 Rushkva. Rushkva, got a little bit of a, a knock to the head. A high block, so she takes off the skates, takes a walk over, and uh, the physios will take a look at her. Sweet80.com is the new roller derby inspired leisure wear brand dedicated to Claire, Sweetabix Lawrence, Sweet 80s, range of hoodies, jackets, vests, and tees, and accessories are perfect for the track, gym, and street. Suck it up. A portion of profits will go to the Claire Lawrence Foundation to fund brain cancer charities. Sweet80.com, where roll give. Rushkova able to walk off the track after getting her bell rung a bit, but one thing I always like to point out is that when it comes to 
uh, athletes and their durability. Roller derby skaters are the most toughest, resilient professional athletes in the world. They wear less pads than NFL, NHL players. They don't make the big bucks. They work normal day jobs, but they still keep coming because they love it. And one of the things I will say, and I've talked about this on, on multiple broadcasts, is we have an Iceland skater out of the pack. That's Ice Rocker leading D. Ray Wolf, but I'm sure D. Ray Wolf will do the cruel thing, and she does, falls off the jam. The fact that there's so much new specialty protective wear. I know Stakes is here. They're one of the sponsors of Roller Derby World Cup 2018, making pads for almost every part of the body because this has become such a physical sport. As Jared would say, physicality in, physicality. in a slobber knocker sometimes. Oh, you had to bring that <laughs> word back again. A physicality alone. And speaking of physicality, number 25, Baby Razor, jamming once again for Italy against Sam Sational. And through the inside, she tippy toes and is going to get the big LJ. Sam Sational is moving side to side. Italy's wall is actually moving incredibly fast side to side as well. Great footwork in that triangle. That would be anchored by Nicosia, also out there. His crazy eyes. And Baby Razor will pick up an additional five for Italy. Now the inclusion of Baby Razor into the jammer rotation as direction of play called against one of the Iceland players, 32 Icicle. That is her. Uh, I was reading a note that uh, had nothing to do with what I was talking about. <laughs> No, we have but anyway, I was talking about the inclusion of Baby Razor into the uh, jammer rotation. Italy has a good chance to be in the round of 16, and the quarterfinals begin this evening here at Event City in Manchester. So maybe some conservation of the jammers to, to help provide the energy for tonight, because that would be huge for them. Yes, Italy looking to rack up enough points and make it up into the top tier for the rest of the tournament here at Roller Derby World Cup 2018. Doing damage on the Blood and Thunder track. Rode the outside line, went out of bounds and quickly calling that one off. And that is going to bring it up to 2.59 to 22, 20 minutes, 57 seconds remaining. And we are having an official timeout call from Iceland. And the coach is going to talk. It will give us an opportunity to talk about, and, you know, I just, I love talking about uniforms. I'm one of those geeks that, that subscribes to uniwatch.com, the, all the athletics aesthetics. Well, let's talk about those frog mouth uniforms that most of the World Cup teams are wearing. Nearly all of them are a special kind of reversible jersey. One jersey dyed on both sides to make two tops for the weight of one. It's perfect for tournaments and travel teams. That's why 18 World Cup teams, including Australia, Sweden, and Argentina are wearing it. Frogmouth would love to make your roller derby uniform. Contact Frogmouth today at frogmouthclothing.com. They make a whole lot of great uniforms. And we're getting back to, like, even though Iceland is down about 240 points, as we were talking about earlier, where they d it doesn't affect their attitude. They're out there dancing and smiling and having a great time. They're happy to be here, and they're learning so much from all the teams they're competing against. And this is not a sport where you have participation trophies. You just have smiles, hugs, and a lot of derby love. And lining up on the cheese ball uh, starter line, that'd be number 23, Quack, going up against number three, Lexia De Trix. And uh, Trix is going to the box. And, and the ease that Quack was able to make it through the inside line, courtesy of some offensive blocking by Linthor, beautifully done by the lady in the azure, the blue. I was like, the blessing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and coming around Quack with an additional five more points for Italy. I think that comes from watching a lot of the World Cup of football. Italy does pretty well there. Uh, we are in Manchester, home of Manchester United, but this week... And Manchester City, don't forget oh. those other guys. Oh, right. <laughs> 
But th th thinking about Manchester United, it's funny that how the World Roller Derby is actually united in Manchester. Yeah, very true. There you go. I see where you're going there in this wonderful city. There you go. I did it back to you. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> Three Ooh. wall and hello. Ooh. That is a beautiful apex jump by D or, or by Quick Quad Quack. Excuse me. I think that even the Russian judge would give that a nine. And we're going to go back to this replay here. And you can see Lexi Strange fighting her way through, just like contacting shoulder to chest, shoulder to chest. Instead of just trying to push, just use and repeat it. Hits to knock down the blockers for Italy. And then the apex jump to kind of put the exclamation point on that jam for Team Italy. 19.09 to go in. The game, 276 to 222. D-Ray Wolf against Ice Rocker. And D-Ray Wolf racing her time. Ice Rocker as well. Both jammers out of the pack. Now racing. The pack recollecting into oh. the... Oh, yes. <laughs> She's Ice safe at home. Ice Rocker hits one of those track gophers, as we call them in the United States. And quick call off by Wolf. That's going to... I'm sorry. Yeah, Wolf. And that's going to be an additional four on the board. Ooh, 80 to 22. And Sam Zaytion is in a very good mood. <laughs> very good mood, excited, dancing her way on the cheese ball starter line. Creeping up behind her, number 25, Baby Razor. Razor quickly just tiptoes around the inside, taking the lead. Wow. I don't know what else to say to that one, but wow. It was like it was like watching it in slow motion before me. The, the pack stood frozen as she just moved away, gliding ever so gently. It was like I saw her go through the side. Wow. It was amazing. <laughs> and tippy toes again, working those toe stops. She's so good at rise the outside this time and we'll pick up five more for Italy. And now we have a star pass. Lara Frost will take over the Jammer helmet for Team Iceland and a huge hit and a big old smile courtesy, I believe that was, that was Sam Sational. Yeah, I can watch this right Boom, here. Boom, shaka Right to the outside. <laughs> and there's that smile on her. <laughs> She's like, you're not going to get away from me this time. <laughs> And lined up now, number three, Lexia Detrix, going skate to skate with number 23, Quick Quad Black. Crowd picking up a little louder, cheering for Iceland. Both jammers moving side to side, but it looks like the pack of, no, oh, Iceland's pack is actually reformed nice and tight, pressed her to the outside. Ball jammers having to be recycled. The dedication of Lexia Detrix trying to get around 17 Betty Burp. Crazy eyes out there. That wall of blue is just phenomenal. And Quack coming back up against Iceland's wall. Took her a whole 30 seconds to get wrapped around them see their defensive game has turned up a bit as now we have another blocker from Italy reporting to the box and it looks like we're going to have a low block call going on quack, uh, quid, quack, quack. and it's going to be a power jam for Italy and that's oh, sorry, Iceland <laughs> that's about the only way you can slow down quack 42 points this half alone and we have a just kind of sit down, stand up, fight, 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 jammer, 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 as there is a helmet cover on the track yeah, as Brennan on <laughs> realizes that it had been taken off. Yeah, two, uh, both, the, it looks like two helmet covers on the track. Everything's, we've got a laundry list, boys and girls. <laughs> And by the way, a public service announcement, if you are a derby player, and uh, it's always good to keep your equipment clean. We just appreciate 
<laughs> we greatly appreciate it. Now, uh, bringing it on and finally getting that helmet cover on, taking that jam of status, but it will be called off by Italy. We have 291 to 22. Excuse me, 294 to 22. As you take a look oh. at the really nifty move, just bowling for dollars right there. I don't know if we can get a look over at the Iceland bench, but we have a, a coach over there. I'm not sure which coach it is. Oh, that is Flaming Mo. Flaming Mo has the most sparkly dress on. It just looks awesome. <laughs> I'm glad I, I almost wore that dress today. I'm glad I did. We, one of us would have to change. <laughs> and of course, one of my favorite uh, coaching names here, the lineup coach, Bo Benchy McBenchface. <laughs> <laughs> and Back onto the track. Here we go. D. Ray Wolf just taking care of more business as Ice Rocker having to try to get through that blocking wall, but is doing a pretty good job until 696. Mackey Maniac tries to shut it down, but the pack guts gets out of whack, and there's an Iceland jammer out. We have a full track back on the board. Wolf keeping an eye on Ice Rocker. Picked up four points and calling that off. Or as I like to say, taking the four and slamming the door on Team Iceland. And sometimes you think that might just be kind of cruel, especially in a game that is so far apart in the point differential but point differential is all that matters right now for team italy trying to break up that into that round of 16 they're currently 19th as we mentioned germany taking care of belgium quite well and that's what they need to do i can't get over the moves of sam sational on the cheese ball start line we may start having to call that the cheese balls dance club <laughs> That's a very cheesy comment, Caesar. <laughs> and, and, and Switzerland isn't here, the hot and cheesy team, according to their T-shirts. <laughs> and right now, Baby Razor, number 25 for Italy. Lead jam and picking him an additional five. Now bring him past the 300 mark to 304 to 22. And we're going to have a star pass going to number 75, Runa Way, who was previously pivot to Team Iceland. And now we got no pass, no penalty call. <laughs> Poor Runaway was having such a rough time trying to skate and put the helmet cover on at the same time. And I like in the replay, you watch the dancing happening right before the jam whistle. <laughs> uh, Denny Terrio, where are you when we need you? That, that is a totally American reference from the 1980s, which means two things. Number one, most people don't understand the American reference. And number two, most of you weren't born in the 1980s. <laughs> oh, don't forget to take your Centrum Silver you have in you today. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good I'll be getting out my walker with my new tennis balls later. <laughs> or you can pick up some awesome roll, uh, some awesome wheels from our That would be a great and idea. And put it on your walker. <laughs> that would make me the, the, coolest, uh, the coolest senior in the park as it's number 23. Quick quad quack as the lead jammer and just making just making mincemeat out of them nieces. Normally ducks fly together, but she flies alone, wrapping around her initial pass and picking up an additional five points. We've had a star pass for Team Iceland. Yep, going into the hands of Lethal Leo. And she's past the pack now on the heels of Quack, who spotted her as she was coming around turn number three, and we'll call that off. <laughs> Leo, arms in the air, still celebrating. Just either that or trying to get the helmet cover on. <laughs> I mean, there are some of these skaters who are relatively new to roller derby, because if you look at their roster, there are only one, two, three, four players that have a home league that is identified. That means that a lot of these skaters are skating for the first time with Roller Derby Iceland. And that tells you just even more about the sheer determination of these ladies on the track. And my hat's off to them. It's just so great to see their wonderful attitude about being able to compete here at Roller Derby World Cup 2018. And Razor once again picking up the lead jam. 
getting not to the outside. Beautiful play, and that's by number 273, Lara Frost. Lara Frost trying to put Baby Razor in the ice box and does for a moment, but Baby Razor tries to get the inside, but some great blocking. Sunshiner in there. <laughs> oh, that was a juke. <laughs> that was a juke jive, and then you wail, courtesy <laughs> of Baby Razor. And now we're going to have another star pass. It went from Sam Sational, and it is going on number 15. Nice rocker. Just about to catch that pass. We weren't too sure if Baby Razor eye spider on that one. Called it off, getting pushed to the outside. Only picking up an additional two points for Italy, bringing it to 3.23 to 22. Getting down into the last 10 minutes, actually last nine minutes of this Phase two games, Strong Athletic believes that every human has the right to celebrate their strength, play sports, be active, find their power, speak their voice, and be seen. Strongathletic.com. And one thing I mentioned when you were bringing up Iceland, how it's uh, the, the, it's a kind of a tight-knit community. There's two pairs of sisters on this team, and that is uh, 780 Bitchblade is actually the sister of number 383, Cr Grim Creeper. And Brendan on number 19 is also sisters with number 11, Big Bada Boom. So Runaway is jamming for the first time for Team Iceland against D. Ray Wolf. D. Ray Wolf breaks out as your lead jammer. And now Runaway. Almost sliding a little bit out of there. Turn number four, regained her composure. But that will be called off. Eight minutes remaining. 3.29 for Italy, 22 for Iceland. And guess who's on the cheese ball start line? That would be Sam Sational. And if you're tuning into any of our awesome tracks right now, definitely don't tune away from this one, but I'll give you a, an update here. Uh, recent jam between Canada versus Greece was a 50-point jam. Wow. Whereas Christopher Walken would say, wow, wow, wow. It was a good jam. Look at and this. a pretty good jam going on here by Quick Quad Quack, but Ice Rocker taking advantage of the star pass and ice rocker is out and going and taking off the helmet cover and putting it back on is quack i think it's the first time we ever saw a stash from italy yeah. but it looks like we have a forum call that's going to be assessed ice rocker this is going to be power jam for italy and we'll go the full two minutes because we do not have a lead jammer in effect Italy setting up an offensive wall as there's just one solo blocker and Brennan on takes advantage of it. No pass, no penalty. As Iceland is just boxed up. Brennan on is th he's the last line of defense. And just skates through the inside, weaves back into the inside. And it looks like we have a cut track call that went on quack. She was knocked out of bounds. Did not properly return to the track behind the blocker. Power and jam has been reversed now to Ice Rocker. And now you see the chorus line forming on the left-hand side, but going to the right side is Ice Rocker trying to get around that great wall of blue, some great offensive blocking. Ice Rocker trying the inside line. will get the help of some more of her blockers. Look at that line go, beautifully done. And they're able to free her out, an ice rocker with a beautiful five in the sky. Round of applause from everyone watching this here at the Blood and Thunder track in Manchester. And that is it, five more points on the board, 338 to 27. As I, we're looking at our replay here. I always call that the chorus line offense when you just line up one right after the other. And even though that replay didn't show exactly what we were talking about there, it was just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Which is why I call it the chorus line offense. That, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> oh, gee, I quit doing the jazz hands, please. Oh, hops the inside. Baby Razor just took a quick leap of faith. Landed inbounds coming in. And now we have a clockwise block call that is actually going to be put on number 412 Phoenix. And like Lexia Dietrich still trying to push her way through the Italy pack as Baby Razor is coming around with another five. Razor has had some great jams in the second half. Oh, hops a little bit of that corner of the apex and we'll pick up another five. Ten point jam to Baby Razor. And it looks like Lexi Dietrich finally works her way through and is going to work on that initial pass. Her high jam so far, speaking of Baby Razor, has been 18 points this half. And remember, she's only jammed this half, and that jam will come to a close. And let's see if she picks up a couple more. Three, yeah, what? three more points. Pretty. Watch dumb. this jump. Ready? And Woo! boom. <laughs> 13 points for Baby Razor as we're under four minutes and we tell you that the original hand prepared skate bearing is available at the quad skate shop booth or online and of course we're talking about cheese balls. And now we got D. Ray Wolf against Sam Station D. Ray Wolf slam through one more time taking the lead jam. And Sam Stacia was battling for it, went out of bounds on turn number two. But the pivot for Italy is now reporting to the box as we have a five point score by D. Ray Wolf. Multiplayer block called, so Italy will be a little shorthand as Crazy Eyes will take a seat in the sin bin. Two blockers for Team Italy in the box, and we will start the next jam with Italy skating shorthanded. Yeah, D. Ray Wolf uh, actually coming around to number two. Uh, also showing, again, great demonstration of work in the toe stops around the corner, keeping in bounds. As soon as she turned around, she called that off and locked off Iceland from gaining any points. Now the pack moved up to the pivot line as we're going to call number 472, Rushkaba, and number 23, Quick Quad Quack. Nice block by Stormy, but Stormy, <laughs> apparently that was too nice of a block. Three blockers in the box now. Oh, Rushkova almost was able to pass that pack, spiraled it to the infield. Quack going to pick up the shining star. One on one, number 17. Betty Burp having to let go, Rushkova. It's actually fun hearing in the background our house announcers going quick quad quack. <laughs> <laughs> have three United Kingdom announcers over there. And, and you quack, can go ahead. I was going to say quack showing some good moves there, and also keeping an eye on Rushkova as she was coming up quickly, calling up, and we're going to have a official review. Quick quad quack this half with 77 points to go with 59 in the first, okay, or excuse me, 81 in the first. So my uh, fifth grade math would put that at uh, 157, thank you. I think, SGI Jones uh, mass, as they say over here, mass, M-A-T-H-S. I've been actually uh, representing the New e the greater New England area over here in Old England and been teaching uh, many nations how to speak uh, like they do in Massachusetts without the R's. Ah. Because we pock the car and the yard. Uh, well, there, there was a time in, uh, when we had a timeout during one of the house calls at uh, the last World Cup in Texas, as you take a look at some like, quick moves by yep. D-Ray Wolf, where we were teaching everybody how to speak Texan. We'd say howdy. <laughs> and we would have all these uh, people from foreign countries all screaming out, howdy, y'all. <laughs> and it was actually a wonderful moment. So after the official review, we will find out 
courtesy of G.I. Jones, what the call is. Yep, uh, right now we're under that two minute mark and there's about 143 left to go. 365 to Italy, 27 to Iceland. And we're gonna be getting the information of the official review in a moment. And it was a big hip hip hooray by our, our house announcers and the skaters participating in it. As we got 671, that is D. Ray Wolf lined up going against 75 Runaway. Now, Cecil, what was that information that came over? Italy was looking for more points on the jam, but the jammer had already stepped out before the call off. So, no more points, and we play on. And your lead jammer, stop me if you've heard this before, D. Ray Wolf. I, I, I have a suspicion that the name rings a bell with many points attached to it but not counting out Runaway, who has made her way through the pack. Iceland still with a pack advantage. And a cut track is called on D. Ray Wolf. This is gonna be a power jam for Iceland. And Runaway able to stay on the outside line. You can tell she's struggling a little bit, but she's gonna try, and there's the chorus line in effect. One, two, three, four, will Runaway be able to get through? Not quite. It was a great formation by Ice, and it did not pay off as she's being recycled back by number 17, Betty Burke. Runaway looking for some momentum. To the rear of Betty Burp. A four wall or three wall is formed in front as D. Ray Wolf comes back on and a great penalty kill by the women in blue. Able to crush her way through. It's going to pick up four points for Italy. Four, and that is going to be assessed to number 67, Radish. So we will go the full two minutes on this, and that will end the game at the end of the jam. Excellent. I like more time added. I love more gameplay here of all of our awesome bouts here at Roller Derby World Cup 2018. D. Ray Wolf picks up another five. And as the clock winds down in the jam and in the game, let's let you hear the crowd's appreciation for two great teams here in Manchester. And we are now into the unofficial ending here. We're gonna watch this replay. Beautifully knocked. Oh, no, yeah, this is when Ruway kept on her skates and that was the very beginning of her power jam. And right now at the unofficial score right now, 381 to 35. And our awesome producer, G.I. Jones, going through all the amazing stats. Only one lead jam for Iceland in the second half. Uh, there was one no lead where neither one of them had it, but just an amazing row of stars there. D. Ray Wolf with 41 points in this half alone. But congratulations to both teams. Italy doing what they needed to do to try to get up into the top 16. They needed a little help, but that point differential will definitely help them. And for Iceland, it's the end of the road to Manchester. But I got to tell you, it is wonderful seeing such spirit and such dedication from these women, some of whom are just novice skaters, but they're out there competing on a world level and that's amazing Crimson. Absolutely, the, when it talks about lead jams they might have just got one of the bout but they took the most lead jams and excitement for being here at the World's Cup and learn, getting to jam against other great athletes from around the world. And we have a final score, Italy 381, Iceland 35, so 381 to 35. And now we can only wait to see how the other bouts play out later today, Cecil, to see if Italy makes the top ranking to move on to the tournament. Well, we're just moments away from the announcement of the, that top 16, as this round of games will be the last ones played. Stay tuned all day long and all evening long from the wonderful production from Derby Ducks Production and Roller Derby World Cup 2018 Crimson. Absolute pleasure. Thank you, Cecil, and thanks to our producer, G.I. Jones. Stick around, we'll have more Derby come out for you real soon.